Hello everybody, it's GB and welcome back to my closet. So I've done a closet tour before um, of my clothes and I want to do like a full apartment tour before I move, which is pretty soon. But what I wanted to concentrate on today was my ASMR closet. So this is where I keep all of my props that can be stored in a closet. Um, some of them are too big. I have a bunch of lights set up in this room. I have quite a few backdrops that are propped against the wall. But I wanted to show you how I organize my stuff and basically get to lock it away in this closet to be a little bit more organized. Um, I also have a couple of like tables and movable countertops that I use and mixers and microphones, but I have a new microphone today. <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to be good or not. But before I open the closet, the first thing are some tripods. I have like four tripods, I think. One of them Ray is using right now with the camera. Hi, Ray. He's going to help me film this. Um, this one is very useful because it has this, okay, <laughs> this attachment here that can be altered to make the camera go completely flat. So like if I have something on a table and I need the camera to be facing completely downward, this tripod's super useful. And I also use it whenever I want to mount my phone. So this is like my really tall tripod for my phone. You can see the little octopus arm tripod here. Now this is actually my very first tripod. This thing is like from 2000. Um, it's what I used to shoot my old YouTube videos on and I just have it around just in case. Um, it's a good one to travel with. It's like really really shoddy but um Whatever, it's like still a functional tripod, so there we go. So the tripods sometimes are in the closet, sometimes they're not. And um, what we have in here is the rest of the props. I'm actually going to move these over just so we can properly show you guys what's going on. So, on the other side is mostly um, outdoor coats and things, but then we have some more props and bins on the bottom. So, you can see it goes all the way down, and starting from the bottom, we have quite a few big bins here on the bottom. And then back up here, we have bins going all the way up, and then a bunch of props that um, they don't fit inside any of these bins and I did not clean my <laughs> I did not clean my closet for this video because I wanted to show you what it this is like what it looks like for me on a regular day but we're gonna zoom in onto each one like I'll bring the camera close and we'll look through each bin and I'll show you what I have in all of my magical ASMR bins so let's go okay let's start with the top layer. Now back here, I have a, it's stuck back there, but I have the bookshelf slash library backdrop that I used in my Goblin Slayer roleplay. I was just folded and shoved back there. And let's see, I've got a glass jar that I never use. Oh, this actually has a home. I don't know why it's up here. This is our um, rose quartz beaded eye mask. And this can go... I guess we'll just leave it up here for now. We have our G Fuel cans from a past sponsorship. They're both empty. Whoopsie. I drank them. Cork candles live up here. register. 
the cash register from the uh, grocery store toy role play. It's got a lot of good buttons. Uh, Reggie Rockets skateboard and another candle holder. So this is also where Ben keeps his keeps his ties, his extra belts and things like that. Um, and like I said, we keep our winter coats in here as well. So let's go through the top layer, starting from the one closest to you. So this is the art box. I know these all, what each one has in it, just because I film so often. Like, that's why. <laughs> Here's the art box. This one's getting really full. I have to like, reorganize this one. This is where I have journals, a little pad thing here that I actually really like for role plays. Um, pencils, space paint, a hole punch, post it notes. Um, and this is actually pretty tall for me. I got a really tiptoe on this. Luckily, the pen is clear so I can see through it. But this is all like the pens, paints, markers, um, any sort of art supply, stickers. I put in here and I just shove this in and it gets stuck every time and I just... It's future GP's problem, you know what I mean? <laughs> this thing... Oh, and I got all these bins from um, the container store. They stack and like lock into each other kind of like giant baby blocks. So very nice to just like add more in as you need them. This one is very random. So it's basically overflow for some of the art props. Got a crossword puzzle, a little pouch, um, my fans are <laughs> This is my biggest fan. And my kinetic sand I keep in here. So it's a very like a rando box. This is my candle box. So a bunch of candles I kept in here, but not all of them. Um, Woodwood scented candles. Uh, even like the like scent beads, this little Yankee candle, clean cotton scent beads. I think this is still closed actually. I've never opened it. So we have these candle box. A bunch of my other candles are like on trays or uh, bedside tables and things like that. This is emo box. So emo box. Let's see if I can get it out easily. There we go. Come here, emo box. I'm so good at these videos. Emo box is all the props from my emo roleplay, so my studded belt, my chemical romance CDs, little like hot topic wristbands, fake gauges, I know they're not called gauges, but come on, we called them gauges back then, um, and then I keep Mr. Voodoo doll in here as well, um, the bath salts are in here just because they fit, my seventh grade phone is in here, and then I have a tiny section off here for a role play that actually never happened. It was um, supposed to be a suit fitting role play, and the pieces of fabric that I ordered never came, so I struggled to find another place to find uh, suit fabric samples. If you know of any, please let me know in the comments. But I keep um, like the sewing kit and measuring tapes in here as well, along with our little tomato push bin. So, emo and sewing bin, obviously. And 
And that is actually all of the top row. I think we could probably get away with doing this row too. Yeah, let's do it. So underneath emo sewing box is my wormwood uh, slash extra wooden props bin. So I did a really awesome sponsorship with Wormwood. And this is great because I actually use these um, when I play board games. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons yet, but <laughs> when I do. So Wormwood sent me these gorgeous pieces. This is the dice tower. Here's some of the dice they sent me. And so all of my Wormwood stuff is in this bin. And then anytime I have extra, like, wooden containers, I keep it in here. But that way I know it's all in there. This um, is the accessories. This is where I keep most of my accessories um, for characters. So this bin has... Things like the elf ears, kitty ears, uh, Billie Eilish-esque sunglasses, Cora hair twisties. Usually the um, devil horns are in here, but I think I have them downstairs. Here's like um, the devil characters, choker. So I try to put... Um, accessories in here. I also have a few failed um, props and accessories, so like this, let me see. So these are funny. Um, I have this from the Sleep Police, um, Bart and Lydia, but I don't think I actually used the handcuffs, so they're still chilling there. I have the Devil's Mirror that broke. I have the broken piece, so it's just a little mirror I got off Amazon. There's a glove from Daphne, and these are supposed to be, it's two different kinds of uh, the little head pieces for Detroit Become Human, because I really wanted to do a Detroit Become Human um, roleplay, so I got these off of Etsy. And you basically, like, put them on your skin, and they glow blue or red. But I never, ever uh, got to do it. The costume I got was too small, and then I just, like, it was too overwhelming, and then, like, Detroit wasn't really a big game anymore, and bada bing bada boom. I have the Daphne wig in here, which is funny because I keep all of my other wigs downstairs. Marauder's map in here, and some other various light Harry Potter references. I used to keep my brushes in this bin, and then I moved them to another bin, so that one's kind of empty. Now this one closest to you, I think you can see it, right? Yeah. This is another sponsor box. So this one has all of my Zippo lighters and Yode watches. So, um, I just like to keep everything together just in case I need it. So, like, whenever I want to wear a watch, I just, like, they're already stored here, so I don't have to, like, put them in my jewelry box or anything. Except for this one, apparently, I took out. Um, oh, here it is. Let's see. And then I just, like, put them back here so that way I never lose them. And so all of the, this is like the Apple Watch bands, all of the Zippo lighters are in here too. This one's my favorite. I need to fill most of them with lighter fluid still. The ones that have lighter fluid in them. I'm not sure where it went. And then this is actually a watch that I got Ben a long time ago. I think he's very much outgrown this. But I thought these watches were so cool back in the day. 
I guess he doesn't wear it anymore. Interesting. I forgot this was in here. Okay. So, let's go down to the next layer and I'll show you what else I have in the trigger closet. <laughs> Alright, to move it on down, we have our next couple of bins here. So, first on the side you can see, this is where I store my um, keyboards. I've been using the pink one so much. And I have my old uh, Corsair as well. Just for a different sound, you know, different mood, you know. You gotta have different ones. So, this bin, I have, these are very trigger heavy bins. So, um, this bin contains um, pens, glue, tape, uh, that sort of thing. And this is also kind of just, sometimes props end up in really random bins, so this is where like the quest journal from Ru the RuneScape roleplay shit like it just ended up. <laughs> he also made a <laughs> settings thing. What is this, a wrench? Yeah, a wrench. Um, so whenever I need tape or things like that, that's right in the front here. Back here, this is where I put the wooden bowls and blocks. Um, more like natural sounding materials. So we have our runes restored here. Um, and our, see so us the wooden blocks. This little like, seashell, this is from like my chakra. One of the Korra role plays was like very chakra heavy. So this is the book on chakra and it like came with like a shell and the thing and this and I am not very well versed in it, but the book was pretty, uh, enlightening. <laughs> I really liked how these one spray bottles sounded. Um, so I went to go order them online because I heard them in one of my friend's videos. And you could only buy it in, like, packs of, like, six or something. It was the little one that I liked the sound of. And so I just ordered a pack of six and... Now I have so much screen cleaner, and some of these are filled with water, and I don't remember which ones. I probably should have labeled them. Um, but then I also have other spray bottles back here. I think I have a thing of Axe. Was this in my emo roleplay? The Axe? Oh, anyway, the Axe lives here now. Let me smell. I still love the smell of Axe. Call me crazy. I just like it. Oh. <laughs> so, it's a pretty well used box. Now, this bin, I think, was the one that actually had its own video. It's very disorganized right now. It's usually not. Um, but this is the bin that has its own video if you like the contents of this box. Um, the fabric is in the back. All the fabric, uh, a plastic credit card, that should be in the middle here. All the fabric goes back there. Then in the middle we have um, the mini solo cups and the shaky egg and the um, light switch. And again, I've used these so many times that I just like, for some reason, I know where they are, even though it doesn't really make sense. Um, and then this is like my, pretty much like my most used trigger items that don't really have context. It's not really a prop, it's just, I use this because it sounds nice. So here is where the toaster coaster lives. We have our one broken one, which is always good for actually like, it's easier to hold. But we have a whole... <laughs> Hello, my name is Judy. Um, loaf of them, if you will. A whole loaf of the toaster coasters that I just recently got. I used to have mm, three toaster coasters. Now I have more, just in case. And this is also where I keep jars, uh, cards, and electric toothbrush. 
So there's that trigger bin. Then all the inside here. This is where I keep all of my brushes, glasses, pens, um, more pens, I have some pens here, and like lights. So we have this little light guy here. All the, I'll just take it out. Oh, and I usually keep scissors in here, but I think some are out right now. So I have like my scissors, pens, pink mouse, where we remove her some random props from the um, dollar store roleplay. So actually when I did the dollar store roleplay, so it was like the 100 triggers from the dollar store, that's what prompted me to start this um, because I didn't really have a good way to store things and all of a sudden I had 100 new props. So that's what um, spurred me to organize this. So we have all of our brushes in here and a pen light pointer, and fidget spinner. Sorry, you probably can't see. Um, that's all in this little bin. The light back there. And these glasses as well. I find myself opening these bins a lot. Down here, we get into the bigger bins. So we have a lot of bigger bins. This one on the left is the beauty bin. And I just pulled this out and it's making everything stuck. Okay, there we go. So this is supposed to be on the bottom, but it's too lazy to move it back down. Um, we have a bunch of, this is like really cheap, but you know, very functional uh, lipstick. And it's like dry enough that it kind of makes a nice sound. And I wear this lipstick for characters, and people are like, oh my god, what lipstick is that? I'm like, literally the cheapest, crappiest <laughs> lipstick. But it, it works, you know? I'm like, dang. I underestimated it, honestly. Let me put this aside once I... So, um, a lot of these, like, palettes and things you see in here, this was sent to me, um, by, uh, really early sponsorship that fell through. Um, I really don't use it as, oh, you can see yourself. <laughs> I really don't use it as makeup, but I have the palettes back here because they're so gosh darn pretty. I really should like tap on them more often just as like an actual tapping product. This is like a really nice PR box sort of thing. Um, great huge mirror, and then like these lipsticks here, but again, almost none of them suit me, I'm really not a lipstick gal, but the box is heavenly, so I'll never ever get rid of it. This is reminding me to like do more with these. So usually that's stored underneath these bins so I have easy access to all this. So these are all of my beauty items that I don't use on a regular basis but I use for ASMR videos. So my normal makeup, um, skincare routine stuff and things like that, I will like bring in and use, but then I'll put them back like in my bathroom or like on my, I have started to do my makeup like by the dresser and I don't know. But pore strips, this is empty because I used it all. But we love these bottles. Lemon slices. I can't stand using these on my skin for real, but they are the best for ASMR. I just love the lemon slices for ASMR. Some cotton balls. Ooh. We have a rogue choker laying around. For those of you who ask, you know how I always wear this choker, right? It's not the same one. I have... <laughs> I bought 30 of these wholesale for $6. So they're all around my house. Got a couple of uh, hair things and honestly makeup that I feel like I don't want to get rid of yet just in case I need it, but I really don't use it. This is where I keep my lotion bottle, headbands, ooh, cups. They're usually not in here. Cuppies usually live somewhere else. Maybe here. Here. Oh yeah, they're usually in here. 
or honestly in my stream room downstairs my bottom drawer of my desk has a bunch of asmr triggers that i use if i ever do asmr live and so those cups are actually usually downstairs so we got the lotion bottle among other things so lots of things in here so that's the beauty box next to the beauty box camping box. So I got a bunch of props when I did my camping, Yuru camp, um, roleplay. So things like the fingerless gloves, the, uh, pots, the, oh, so this is from the <laughs> RuneScape roleplay. I bought an axe, you know, just YouTube things. This, oh, what was the original video I used this in? I want to say it was Attack on Titan. But I also want to say I got it earlier. This could have been from Krista. That might have been the first time I used it. But it's gotten a lot of views. Um, we have a compass, radio, duct tape. Um, so this was all of the little camping supplies I bought. And when I was in the middle of watching that anime, I was so into the idea of camping. I wanted to camp so badly. I didn't have time. But maybe now, maybe, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go camping this winter. <laughs> so I also keep some LifeX, uh, the little smart bulbs I use. Some of these uh, got some put back in here. And I'm keeping these so I can move them easily when I move houses slash apartments. All right, moving on to a lower bin. This one gets used almost never. This is very specific bin, so it is um, a little a bit Naruto, a little bit um, Happy New Year, and a little bit Reggie Rocket. Yeah, so that is that bin. We have the um, clutch from the New Year's Eve video. Um, again, random Naruto props. There's a Leaf Village headband, I'm pretty sure. We got the Heaven Scroll down there. I just needed somewhere to keep that stuff, so there it is, you know? This is. Probably the most used bin. No, not this one yet. It's gonna be this one. But this one's pretty close, actually. This is the. This used to be the pirate bin, but it's turned more into like the fantasy bin. So we have like the. Uh, this was like the razor sharpener. The lantern gets used a lot. We got chains. Candle holders, a potion back here, a lot of jewels and um, fake, uh, fake parchment. Can you see that down there? We got keys and jewels and things like that. So then there's fake parchment all the way at the bottom right here. So I've been doing a more of these type role plays like Goblin Slayer and Pirate and that sort of thing. And uh, these are always really, really, really fun to use. Everything's just very dated. Um, Harry Potter role plays with a quill, stuff like that. We have made it to the end, the bottom. Um, there are some things on the side I can show you as well, like over here. Okay, this was a rogue glove. Okay. Um, I have tucked away um, these shoes that I made. I didn't make the shoes, but I painted them pink uh, for Monica, um, Doki Doki, Doki Doki Monica, and they smelled so badly. These are like cheap shoes that just smell like chemicals, so I like to shove them in the corner because I put them in a bin, and it was so awful. So these live over here. They still kind of smell. It's been months, but I, you know what? I'm filming Monica soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually keep that over there. So this is where I keep the rest of Monica's outfit. Um, this bin will probably get 
retired <laughs> because once I sh I would just wanted to keep it all organized um, but once I shoot the Monica video I'll probably hang her up in my cosplay closet and yep that's a thing that exists I have a cosplay closet <laughs> so maybe we could do a tour of that too so here's Monica's sweater that goes over she actually has quite a few layers so she has like um the white collared shirt, and then the orange sweater, and then the brown blazer. So if you um, are new to cosplay, and the idea of sewing makes you want to cry like me, found cosplays are really, really awesome and effective. So instead of buying a cosplay from like a, you know, like a cheap cosplay site, they don't really turn out that well. Like sometimes you can use them for certain characters or even just parts of costumes that you need. But if it's somebody like, you know, Monica, you don't need a Monica cosplay. You just need to look at what she's wearing and buy different pieces that when you wear it, it looks like a realistic outfit that's recognizable. Does that make sense? So like, those cosplays have always been really effective um, and really fun and really easy. So like, these are all just cheap pieces from Amazon. And these are some hair clips. <laughs> um, got a washcloth in there. Um, this is the Monica skirt that I ended up going with. I had to try two. I got one and it, I didn't like it, so there's the blue skirt that she has. And then her wig is in here. So this is from Arda Wig. And it's two pieces, so we've got the base ponytail and then the really long ponytail that like clips onto it. Um, then it also in here I got this lantern that I thought I would use for a Lorelei video because it was four dollars at Bed Bath and Beyond. And I just have not used it yet, so that one's laying in wait. Um, then I have my glowy flower crown ended up in this bin and the little like brain massager ASMR tool is in there too. But this bin will probably be used for something else soon. It's a good big one, you know, you don't want to waste them. This is the bin that I probably use the most often. This is the medical bin. So I've actually just done two videos where you needed like bloody gauze. It was just lipstick. Um, but this has the masks, pad, like the nonstick pad thingies. Um, the microblading pens, the, there's like a first aid kit, a whole bunch of types of gloves and dentist tools and stethoscope is under here. And so this is all the medical stuff that I don't have in my own, like, um, medicine cabinet. So again, if I ever need specific props, um, that I use like in my day-to-day -day life, I'll just grab it from its normal spot and then put it back when I'm done. But this is like all of the medical tools and usually um, my scrubs are in here as well. But I just shot a video with them so they're not in the bin right now. So that is the medical bin. Oh, I forgot to put bloody gauze back inside. God, this really makes no sense to people who don't understand it. Okay. Down here, this is the extension slash growing fantasy bin. So remember the fantasy bin up here with the pirate stuff and the fantasy stuff? I needed more room. So this is the growing fantasy bin. Here we have really old, moldy, smelly, nasty books. They are really that this crusty and old. So there's a latex glove in here because when Ray and I are like putting the props away, I'll like just put on a glove. So we like put the latex glove on and shove the book inside. We just like kept the glove in there. Um, but like here we have the, this is a new, not crusty or old, um, a journal. And then we have more jewels, um, little accessories and more fake uh, parchment. Oh, there's like the 
ink in here. This ink it says Harry Potter on the front, so I'm like always hiding the Harry Potter part. Um, the parchment came with like parchment envelopes, who knows, you know. But this one, I assume will grow as I get some more really fun props. Some of the bigger props, um, like maybe you saw on the back of uh, the pirate roleplay, um, I actually store above my fridge and above my microwave I have like big uh, cabinets and I, I store props up there too. So I would say the prop, this prop closet has about 80% of my props, but there are like a lot of things kind of just around the house. Here we have fake food land. So this one got a whole bin to itself um, for my fake food uh, role play grocery store. This is awesome. I was so excited to do this role play because I, I saw all this fake food in Target and I was like, I need an excuse to buy this and I don't have children. So now it's mine. We have fake donuts, a fake sandwich, the coffee maker is a new favorite of mine. So, all the fake foods down here, and we also have uh, a Sigma Brushes kit down here as well. It just fits nicely, so there's a bunch of brushes in there, and I really like the case. It's like very, very tingly, so I'm sure you've seen it in some of my videos. Alright, now if we scoot a little bit this way, you can see... Um, there's three more bins, so there's one up here you can't see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tilt the camera up for you. Yoop. Okay, you can see it enough. It's really pretty boring. This one just has, um, papers, clipboard, uh, sketchbook. So it's just, like, paper. Um, so the clipboard is really nice when I'm doing, like, a medical role play or um, journals, that sort of thing. I'm usually, like, writing when I'm interviewing or asking, like, for your information in a role play or something like that. And then I also have a bunch of rocks down here, too. Ray went looking for rocks for the RuneScape video and, um, just brought back a whole bag and I was like, oh, sure, let's keep some rocks. And then these two bins are, they're, like, kind of uh, techie bins. I mean, we have the fake phone here. That's a prop. But the rest of it is um, extra tech. Most of it is under the bed that you see in the back of my videos, but with the Blue Yeti, we have little mini tripod. We have a windshield, foam cover, pop filter, whatever you want to call it. All that sort of cables and things. And down here is even more of that. So we have the task cam that is definitely broken. The 3DO very unceremonious <laughs> very unceremoniously plopped in here. Um, and just some like um, manuals and things because I am scared to throw manuals out for some reason. Yeah, so that is the nub interest of my prop closet. Here we have the love books, um, and on the side there's like some camera bags and things like that, but mostly unrelated to ASMR. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my prop closet. I always loved apartment tours, room tours, all this kind of stuff, and I'm like, we have seen very few ASMR closet walkthroughs. You know, Heather Feather did one a long time ago, but I don't know if anyone else ever has, so... There you go. I know not many people in the world maybe have an ASMR prop closet, but just in case you were curious on what mine look like, this is uh, how I function day to day when I'm making my ASMR videos. It's just a little portion and a little slice of uh, basically my, my work from home job. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like some more in-depth tours of different parts of my apartment. I would love to do them for you someday and definitely, definitely a full apartment tour um, someday. I promise, I promise, I promise.
So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.